Okay, I'm gonna teach you how to do a stall to press in only five minutes. Now, obviously I can't teach you how to do a stall to press in five minutes if you can't do a handstand or if you don't have a press handstand already, but I'm gonna take you through the drills that you should be doing if you're working towards a stall to press. To make this even more realistic, I'm not warmed up in any way and I'm gonna try and do the drills as we go. I'm gonna start with the easier ones and then I'm gonna slowly progress to the harder ones until we get to the full stall to press. So it should help as my warm up as we go. So obviously if you're gonna join in in any way, I'll try these exercises, make sure the wrists are nice and happy first make sure the shoulders are nice and open so lay on that foam roller do a hang do your shoulder stretch make sure your thoracic is nice and happy uh, hamstrings we want to get into your hamstrings from a flexibility point of view for your forward fold you want your hip as high as possible so hamstrings there we need to warm the adductors up from a straddle point of view so we can get into a pancake position pretty comfortable so for me cold it's normally not too bad so I can go into this position sit down if you're pancake isn't that good then stall to press is obviously going to be a bit challenging so get working on this as soon as possible spend time in this in the evenings make sure you can get into a pretty comfortable straddle pancake position if you want to get that stall to off the floor so for now i'm just going to go into some good mornings for the hips so i'm going to go slightly wider than shoulder width with the feet i'm going to take the hips backwards come to the floor back up again do a few rip do a few repetitions there and then i'm going to go up onto tippy toes so again, this is gonna act as some flexibility warm up. Also gonna condition the wrists and the upper back and shoulders as I push and load more into that upper body at the bottom of the movement. So here, if I can, I can float the toes for a little bit. Okay, then we just need to warm our handstand up or check we can do a handstand. So I'm gonna kick up into my freestanding handstand, show control, make sure the shoulders are happy. That feels okay. I might as well, while I'm here, do an eccentric. So I'm doing an eccentric press, coming through the straddle with the goal of kissing tiptoes to the floor. This is really important that we have this bottom strength, the point where your toe just about touches the floor. If we don't have that, that transition through to the eccentric stalled up, it's gonna be really difficult because the hip's gonna drop off the top and you're gonna fall down even heavier than you normally do. So if we have that nice controlled eccentric, if you don't have that, if you're missing that bottom bit, use the wall, spend some time on that bottom section, make your tuck planche, that sort of thing stronger is all gonna help in that bottom section. Uh, okay, from there we wanna do a clean straddle press to handstand. So up onto tiptoes, around your straddle, show control at the top, whoop, not like that. Hold, again, get that eccentric, coming down, kissing the floor with tippy toes, hold, and relax. Okay, let's just see what our straddle else is like now. So for me, because I have to warm the hips up a lot for this one, I'm just gonna walk into it this way, slowly go back, externally rotate the hands, keep the knees bent a little bit, and then straighten them as best I can. So not too bad. Same thing, but now I'm gonna transition from the back, so back to that tippy toe position, or the bottom of the straddle press, and then slide a walk around to my straddle else here. So from there, slide the tippy toes, round, finishing that straddle else here. Okay, now let's tie those two together for a full eccentric. Now, if you struggle to get through to that straddle else position because of flexibility, you just might need to raise the hands up a little bit. That'll allow you to bend the knees, come around a little bit more control position, but we'll probably need a little bit more strength. So now concentric press up, so standard straddle press, but an eccentric stall to press, going all the way through ideally and finishing in that straddle else position. So straddle press up, show control at the top, coming down as slow as possible, but now I bring the feet in pretty close to the hands. Tippy toes are gonna to touch, slide the toes, keep the toes down, now lift the toes. So if you're not too clever with the eccentric, if you whip the feet up too quickly, it brings the hip down quickly and it rocks you back and you'll fall back on your butt. So having those toes kiss the floor and slide through is a little bit easier, and then once you've got your balance point, lift the feet up. Okay, now we're gonna use a couple of uh, tissue boxes. They don't have to be Australian ones. They could be something else other than a tissue box. But now I'm gonna use a partial range stall to press. So I'm gonna come down. This is a bit tricky to get the distance correct, but I'm just gonna try and kick them and come back up again. So you could kick up to handstand or if you have it, press the handstand up. Now I'm gonna come down, start to take the toes through, kick to the boxes and whoop and then come back again. Now obviously progressions of that as we just start to move this further and further away. If I don't hit it, I move it back. 
closer this way. You could do repetitions there, and then once you have it for two or three reps, just take it further and further away from you until the point where you can go nearly all the way down and back up again. Once we've got that, we'll try a rep from the bottom position. So just use as much momentum if you can. So momentum meaning that I'm gonna rock the head and shoulders forwards, feet backwards. I even put a little bit of a bend in the elbow there to make sure I got up. Nice, slow, eccentric back down. And a hold. And then once you're at that stage, you've basically unlocked the stall to press and you can just fine tune it depending on what style you want. Whether you want a nice, clean, tight one, you might need to work more on flexibility, mobility, or just technique and control through the movement. So it's not a one rep, it's like a two or three rep max. So that allows you to tidy it up and make it look pretty. You might want to get it off the floor, which demands a little bit more flexibility. I struggle with this one still with my tight hips, uh, but pushing up from this position, you'll notice I have to use a little bit of momentum and it's not super easy from the floor, but I can get it. And then again, just make sure you get the rep and hold at the bottom, just so you get that time under tension again, and then you can build it up to multiple reps. Now that was super quick, as I promised, around that five minute mark. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. Check out my website, www.pultwyman.com.au, and I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.